there, GHS. This is your incredibly handsome Mega Man Ty Chilcutt, and welcome back to Pirate Production Studios, the best news outlet for everything Granberry. And what I'm about to tell you might excite you or terrify you, but it is officially the last six weeks of the school year. And I don't know about y'all, but it is kind of hard to believe. I mean, like, weren't we just in February? Like, what happened to March? We're in April now. Where is the time going? It makes no sense. But what does make sense is that weather is up next. So let's see what Texas is throwing at us this week. Welcome back GHS, I'm your weather person, Bree Taylor. We've got a pretty average, partly cloudy week with chances of showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're looking at our highs from high 80s to mid 70s. Our lows will range from mid 60s to mid 40s. Another thing, since we're getting into the lovely season of spring, that also means tornado season. For those of you who may not know or have never had it explained to you, here's a fairly fun way to remember the difference between a tornado watch and a tornado warning. With a tornado watch, you've got all the right conditions to create a tornado. For example, we're gonna use a taco. A taco watch is all the ingredients to make a taco. And then over here, we have our finished taco. This is our taco warning. This means heads up, there's a wild taco out here. Be prepared and stay safe, GHS. Question, do you have a driver's license? Yes? All right, well you shouldn't. But since you do, you can now acquire your parking pass for the next school year. Go to the website or ask your Quest teacher about any details you may need to get that spot you've always wanted. That I can't get anymore because I won't be here next year and everyone's gonna forget me and I'm still gonna be shorted. <laughs> but also, this Friday and next Monday is a student teacher holiday. So that's about... Four days to basically do whatever you want. But now, sports is up next. So sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, it's Parker, back with another sports update. Baseball unfortunately drops their second game to Alito, currently sitting at one in three in the district. Not to worry though, as the Pirates had a bye last week and are facing the Brewer Bears at home Tuesday and away on Thursday. As for softball, the Lady Pirates pick up a big win against Ryder yet drop one to Alito, continuing their chase for 500. Big news for golf, however, as both the men's and women's district champions call themselves Pirates. I mentioned last week Tanner Larson's success as he helped lead the Pirates to regionals. Mason Lewis, the district female champion, does the exact same. The boys will be at regionals April 18th and 19th in Lubbock, with the girls to follow on the 20th and 21st. Unfortunately, track did not have quite the same success as they finished sixth in the Joshua Owls meet. Uh, however, there were some notable finishes as Colin Valentine gets second in the 800 meter, Hayden Burns gets third in the 300 meter hurdles, Landry Basil third in the long jump, and Cassidy Kirkpatrick second in the high jump and first in the long jump with a distance of over 16 feet. In other news, both GISD middle schools are now offering soccer and tennis at the middle school level. Tryouts were last week for the younger Pirates and watch out for sports being streamed next week as Anthony Sawyer and Duke take on baseball at home on the 14th. As always, go Pirates. Welcome to the third episode of Pirate Polls, the show where I ask unimportant questions and you give me answers. For a third episode, we have 25 responses. Thank you to everyone who voted. On to the questions. For our first question, we have, which are better, pancakes or waffles? 15 people voted for waffles and the other 10 voted for pancakes. When asked to justify their answer, waffle enjoyer Sefer Tais said, the little pockets in waffles are perfect for holding syrup. Pancakes just can't compare. On the other hand, someone in favor of pancakes pointed out, pancakes are much more simple. Why is it so hard to spread butter on waffles? By the way, you guys are too funny for me to leave out these responses, so here's some honorable mentions. For our next question, we have, which do you prefer, reading or writing? Reading is the clear crowd favorite with 17 votes. However, eight people still voted for writing. When asked to justify their answer, Jay Bird, who enjoys writing, said, I prefer to get my own ideas and creativity out there, especially if it's something I want to write about. 
On the other hand, an anonymous reader said, I love both, but being able to visualize stories from words on a page has always been fascinating to me. Lastly, we asked our voters, where would you rather go? The mountains, the beach, or the woods? The beach and mountains came close to tying with 11 votes and 10 votes respectively. The woods, however, only received four votes. When asked to justify their answer, an anonymous voter in favor of the woods said, the woods have more interesting scenery and aren't salty or tall. While an anonymous voter in favor of the beach stated their reasoning as, getting tan, cold drinks, dolphins. Duh. Lastly, someone who prefers the mountains said, there's something about seeing the sheer scale of mountains in person and their views from the top that never really gets old. Thank you for tuning in to our third episode of Pirate Polls. If you want to vote in the next episode, scan this QR code with any device of your choosing to be directed to the poll. However, keep in mind that you must be signed into a Granbury ISD account to vote. See you next time! And with that, what's done is done. Thank you all so much for watching this latest episode of the Crow's Nest News. Make sure to follow all our social media to stay up to date with what's going on. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and ring the bell to be notified of any future videos. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you again next time.